we are going to help all these business women who are cooking all sorts of delicacies or producing all sorts of delicacies, be they drinks, be they food, be they whatever, in our Zongo communities, to package these properly. And I forgot to bring the, the kelechi, the kelechi package. I wanted kelechi, kelechi, kelechi <laughs> There is there is this dry meat, yeah, that they call kilishi. That um, somebody has brought a proposal to us that is going to be packaged beautifully. I mean, it's a beautiful design. I it, it was on my desk. It's a tragedy that I, I didn't bring the packaging. But those are the kinds of things that we are going to do. Help people to package and brand. I keep telling people that the man who sells Cocoa King, really, does he know how to prepare cocoa better than my auntie in Nima? Of course not. But when I go to my auntie in Nima to buy cocoa, I buy it for one CD. For one CD, 50 pesos. Maximum two CDs. But I buy Coco King on the roadside for five CDs. Sometimes with the accompaniments, it's 10 CDs. And so on. And so, and why? It's, it's simply because Coco King has, has packaged it. It's, it's branded. It's packaged. It's beautiful. It's neater, et cetera, et cetera. And so because of that, it goes for more. So the president says we should improve the livelihoods of the people in these communities. How else are you going to improve their livelihoods except you help them to develop their businesses, package them properly, and make more profit? So the outcome, what we expect, the expected benefits of this program is we are going to do proper branding, value addition, increase market access, and therefore increase revenue, improve livelihoods, etc., etc. Let me talk about the increased market access. You see, we said there's going to be a Zongo food album. We are going to do compile a Zogo food album. It's going to, in other words, it's going to be pictorial. We are going to have a picture of, say, Tubani. And then we will tell you what the ingredients, or if you want, the constituent ingredients of Tubani is. And then we will do an album, all the constituent ingredients, and send it to all of our embassies across the world. So when people go to queue at these, our embassies, to look for visa to come to Ghana, they have an opportunity to flip through and see what unique foods are available here in our country that when they come to, they can eat. And of course, we, we emphasize the ingredients because, I mean, for many people, you, they have to know what they are allergic to and what they are not allergic to. So we have to label it. <laughs> 